In this video we look at what 4-bit means and what types there are. We write the Python code to build this circuit. We are introducing four new components. The Intel 4004 is a 4-bit processor. But what does 4-bit mean and what forms are there? In the case of the Intel 4004, this means that this processor can process 4 bits at the same time. Both externally via the 4-bit data bus and internally via 4-bit operations. But what types of 4-bit operations are there? First, let's take a look at this 4-bit circuit. It is easy to understand that these are four independent non-circuits. The next circuit is obviously no longer an independent 4-bit circuit. For bits are linked here to form one bit. You can now recreate this circuit, set up a truth table and find out what this circuit does. Or you can translate this circuit into a mathematical formula. Either way, you will come to the conclusion that this circuit obviously corresponds to a 4-bit OR. Now let's create a much more complex circuit. As you can easily understand, all four inputs are included in the result of H. While E only depends on D. You can also recreate this circuit and create a truth table. Of course you can also set up and solve the four equations for the results. We'll take a closer look at the equations in one of the next videos. Today we look at the truth table. If we look at them more closely, we see that the next option in the table is always selected. Now let's establish a relationship between the individual bits. Let's now adjust the truth table accordingly. Obviously the circuit calculates the successor of the input, except for the last value, which as we all know, after 15 comes 16. However, with 4 bits there are only 16 possibilities, in this case from 0 to 15. We know the number of rays from mathematics. However, for computer science we need a number circle. The Intel 4004 only knows addition and subtraction. This can be easily represented on the number circle. As you can see, addition is clockwise and subtraction is counterclockwise. But is the assumption that these are 4-bit integers correct, or is it just a coincidence? In order to be able to distinguish this better in the future, we will now program corresponding 4-bit switches and lamps. First copy the switch script and save it as a switch 4-bit script. This time I will write the script quite quickly without further explanations. 
If you want a closer look at how it works, check out part 2 of this series. We change the labels and insert a new constant. Here we insert a displacement along the x-axis. Base is the last existing vertices and Y is the displacement along this axis. We no longer need this method, Base will take over this role. We're changing the name. The individual switch is created here. This method creates a cuboid that serves as a housing for all four switches. We create a new mesh method. From here we create all partial meshes. Finally, we only calculate the limits for shape keys and material. Here we create the shape keys. We'll adjust the names because we need four keys this time. We also adjust the calculation. From this method we create the four shape keys. We adopt this method without any changes. This method creates a material that determines the value of the required bit and converts it to red or green. Here we create all the materials and assign them to the polygons. Here we just change the name and adjust the max value. We are still adjusting the main method. And rename this class. No further changes are necessary. Now let's copy the lamp script. If you want to know more about how it works, you should watch part 3. We change the names again and insert a new constant. We add a shift of the center point along the x-axis. Here too we adjust accordingly. This method is again not needed. Here too we are making minor changes. We also adapt this method. It produces a single lamp. We copy this method from the last script. We also copy this method and adapt it accordingly. The next method of copying. Here too we copied and adapted accordingly. We also adapt the next two methods. Finally, we adjust the name of the class and we're done. 
Now we create the splitter and combiner. Here we use our create IC script with these two commands. We first open the splitter script. We just write the calculation here. Then we open the combiner script. Here too we only need to write the calculate method. Now we adapt the three main Python files just like we do every time something new is added. Now let's start Blender and build this circuit. We see the bits are swapped, just as expected. In the next video we will build a circuit that generates this truth table.